kids. So I woke up with a migraine and I've taken some meds, but I'm not coming into work today. And then I forgot to tell you that on Friday I have a doctor's appointment, so I'm going to be out for two more days. I know you guys hate this, but this is the way the world works sometimes. Um, I also know that we've had a little bit of, I just feel like work hasn't been getting done as much as I would like when I'm not there. So I'm making this video of no makeup anything just to give you guys like a connection to make sure you know what's going on. Um, so here's the deal. <clears throat> Go to your sticker chart over here. Um, and you're going to watch this video. Obviously the link's not there yet. And then you're going to open up this document. And it gives all the last steps for our whole teenage brain project. By the way, I heard so many positive reviews about you guys yesterday. I'm really proud of the work you did. Like, sincerely proud. I feel like you guys are really becoming people who are going to be ready for the next phases of your life. And a lot of your work show, showed yesterday. Um, so here's the final steps. You have to complete this reflection. There's questions down below. You have to <clears throat> write a thank you letter to the attendees. We're going to do that Monday. I'm going to compile that whole list into one big doc and email it out to everybody. On Monday, also, you're going to make a page on your site titled training. You're going to put your slides, link your activities, put your thank you letter, and put your reflection questions all in that one site. Then you're going to turn that in. And when I grade you, I'm going to take all that into account along with the notes from the adults. Um, by the way, this is our last big thing in the class. It's like your final, so it has to has to be done. If you don't have this, then you will not pass the class. Um, if you are absent, though, here's the option. Or not if you're absent. If you're one of my kids who, everybody is at school. If you're one of, except one. If you did not do the presentation, this is your only makeup option. This may sound harsh. It may sound like last minute, but guess what? We had 20 to 30 people in for each session yesterday, and... It's the other kids had all of that stress going and if you didn't present, you didn't have that stress going and it's not fair. So this is my only makeup option. This is the only time slot. This is the only option. <clears throat> if one of your classmates is not here today and they missed it, you might want to tell them this because I'm not extending it. So if you didn't present on Wednesday, you have to create a 15 minute presentation, slides and activities on a chapter that was not yet presented. <clears throat> that means one of the chapters like, I know there's a bunch that we didn't even cover. Do one of those. You can't like just copy somebody's alcohol presentation. You have to pick a new one. You have to show me a draft of your presentation by the end of class on Monday in order to be able to present. If you don't have it Monday, you're done. No exceptions. You have to, um, ooh, there's a typo here. You have to um, find two adults who are going to attend your presentation in my classroom on Monday at 3.15. You have to bring adults. If you can't bring adults, too bad. Like we're not going to do this because everybody, I put in the email to everybody, all of your classmates brought adults, and all of those adults came. You have to have an authentic audience for this presentation. We're not making exceptions to that. And no 18-year-old students do not count. Um, then after, so you're going to present on Tuesday in my room from like 3.15 to like 3.45. That's it. I'm done. I'm going home. If you're not there at 3.15, peace out. Like you, you don't get the grade. I have to go home. I have schoolwork. After you present, you're going to complete the reflection so you're going to present Tuesday. After that, like on Wednesday, you have to do the whole reflection. You have to do your thank you letter and put it on your site by Wednesday at midnight. Because Wednesday, I'm grading all of these. They are done. I'm They have to all be done. I'm not taking late work. Your presentation won't be graded till everything is complete. This is the only makeup option. If you have questions or concerns, email me. No excuses. By the way, if you have an IEP that talks about extended deadlines and things, then like this, but like... At some point, there's like a deadline that's like for me to get things in the grade book. So this grade book is not, this grade is not changing this deadline. It has to stay there. Okay. Like we're running out of time in the progress report. I have to get your grades turned in. They have to be turned in. And there's also no other time where I'm going to stay after school to let you make up. I'm not being nice for this. You guys should have presented on Wednesday. By the way, everybody else, you rock for getting this done. Um, okay. So your teenage brain reflections down here on a more positive note for my kids who were there. So here's what you got to do. Oh, by the way, everybody, did I tell you you don't have to write a research paper next week? We were going to write one, but because of map testing, we didn't. So I've, like, adjusted all of the work. So, like, in place of it is, like, your big wrap-up, I need you to reflect on the process. So what you're going to do is you're going to go through these questions. Don't. It sounds like a lot, but it's not because it's just reflections. There's no textual evidence or anything. So you're going to read each question, write a short answer, at least 75 words. Guys, that's not that long, especially because you restate the question in the first sentence, right? So, like, that takes about, like, 25 words. Um, write it like a mini paragraph, like a topic sentence and like some little examples. I would seriously use voice typing for this because I think it's going to go way faster. And then, but be sure to proofread your work, 
like your sophomores, I am not taking your work if you have a lowercase i in there. And then, um, so you have to do all, answer all 10 questions, at least 75 words each. So here's your questions. Backwards looking, what process did you go through to produce your presentation? In other words, what steps did you make? So write out your steps. First I, next I, then I, finally I. Number two, what problems did you encounter while you were working on your presentation? How did you solve them? For example, my partner and I weren't meeting together. Or for example, I couldn't find enough facts. Or I didn't know how to put the template on the slide. Or I didn't know how to, um, I accidentally put all of what I was going to say in the slides and I had to put it into my notes. I had to work on practicing, put those things in. Inward looking, that means looking at yourself. <clears throat> how do you feel about your presentation? What parts of it do you particularly like or dislike? So as you presented, what were the highlights? Like what was really solid? You're like, dang, like my Kahoot game was on it. Like it was so good. Here's why I liked it. I wasn't really confident with my textual evidence because I felt like I couldn't answer questions about it. Put those things in. Next one, what were your goals for the presentation? Did your goals change as you worked on it? I know some of you guys had like huge ideas for what you wanted your games to be and then you had to change it. Or you wanted to talk about a bunch of stuff and you had to change it or you wanted to have your whole thing memorized and you couldn't do it. So put those in there. And then the next one is, what did your presentation reveal? I should be highlighting this, sorry guys. What did your presentation reveal about you as a learner? What skills did it show? This shows I'm good at preparation. It shows I'm good at artistic skills. It shows I'm good at speaking. It shows I'm organized. It shows that I work well with a teammate. Put these things in and say why. Outward looking, this is a harder one. If you were the teacher, if you were me, what would you say about the presentation? So this would be if I was Priester and I was standing back walking my pres watching my presentation, I would think I would be impressed by it, I would be worried about it, I wish that she could do this, I would be super excited, put those things in. Don't just pick, I would think she'd rock. That's not specific. I'm not going to read that. You're in 10th grade. Put in specifics. Um, in what ways did your presentation meet the expectations of the assignment? Understanding the book, media presentation, textual evidence, and writing skills. In what ways did it not, or did it not as strongly meet those standards? Like, most of you guys hit everything in there. Like, you guys totally had your textual evidence. You had your presentations. But, like, what areas were, like, super strong and what were weak? Some of your activities were stronger and some of your presentations were stronger. So put those in so you're assessing yourself. Next one is forward-looking. Now, this is going to feel a little bit different, but um, this part of reflection is a really strong thing that, like, as a college student, I have to do this all the time, and I want you guys to get used to it. So what would you change if you had a chance to do your presentation all over again? Be specific and explain why. P.S. Insider tip after I grade them all. I'm going to be picking, I think, two from each class, maybe a few more to be part of an encore presentation at the Expo Miss Davis is planning for the last day of school. So I only want my ones that are super strong going in there, but if you had a chance, if you're going to fix a couple things, what would you fix? Um, what's one thing you saw in your classmates' presentations or presentation preparation that you would like to try next time? So if you had to do this again, if you're like, dang, that person had like their, the way they laid their information out was really strong or this person had obviously rehearsed. Like what things did other kids do that you want to add into yours? And then the last one, this question comes from the audience the other day and it's how has your thinking changed as a result of reading The Teenage Brain by Francis Jensen? So how are you different because you read this? How did it affect you? What actions are you going to do? What thoughts do you have differently because of this text? Okay. Sounds like a lot, but like seriously guys, it's just your ideas, so it should not take you long. I want you to do half of them today, half of them tomorrow. When I come to class, <clears throat> excuse me, when I come to class on Monday, they all have to be done because we're putting them on the Google site. Wednesday is the absolute day. All the stuff on these presentations has to be in Wednesday. If you're one of my procrastinators, you have to get this done. Like this, it's the end of the semester. There's no excuses. These have to get done. If I were you, I would just lock in some headphones, get your Google Voice going, recording going, and just bust these things out today. If you have an IEP and you need help, you go find yourself a tutor, say the words, and have them type them for you. Like, you have to get this done, okay? Um, I think that's it. Overall, guys, I'm super duper impressed with you. I'm proud of you. Oh, by the way, over on the sticker chart, yo, just fill your stuff in as you go. Um, I'm probably going to go back to sleep, so I will not be able to answer you guys. Um, I'll try to if I'm awake. And uh, I hope your day goes well, okay? Um, see you Monday, okay? Please do your work, my kids. Okay, bye.